In the church, we are told growing up that our entire lives are for God. If we obey Him and believe that Jesus is Lord over our lives, then we will go to heaven. Jesus took away all of our sin so that we could be with Him forever. As a Christian, I was told this is what we should want. God gave us this amazing life, and we should be eternally grateful that He gave it to us. Stepping outside of the church, I look at things very differently now. When Christians I know tell me that they long for the day to die so that they can be with Christ, I often wonder if they actually thought about 1. Living forever and 2. Being a slave for all eternity. Many claim that being a slave to God forever is better than going to hell. Would heaven be a place people would want to go, though, if hell had never been a teaching in the church? I will tell you how I look at heaven. Heaven to me is no different than North Korea. There is a supreme leader who makes all the rules. He rules with an iron fist, and yet makes people within his country think that he alone is the smartest, greatest, and all-loving leader. There are several things that the leader in North Korea does that the Bible God also does. Number one, blasphemy. In the Bible, we are told over and over again that if we take the Lord's name in vain, we are guilty. We are not allowed to say or use God's name as a cuss word. We are not allowed to question God and why he is the way he is. If we do, we can be charged with blasphemy. God's ego is so big that if you say one bad thing about him or his name, he will be pissed. Sounds like God did not listen to his own book when he says to be slow to anger. The same law is in place in North Korea. King Jong-un has made it illegal to say anything bad about him or his family. If you're caught saying such things, you can be locked up or executed. One woman who had a house fire was even punished for simply saving her own child instead of a picture of the former leader. The leaders of the nation are the highest authority, and they deserve the most respect because they alone give the people in North Korea what they need. Number two, you are stuck. According to the Bible, we are told there is no way out of heaven. From what I was taught in church, you were trapped there forever. You're going to be a slave to God for all eternity, and you cannot get away from it. No matter how boring or how horrible the place might be, God needs people in heaven to give him praise and stroke his ego. There's even a gate in heaven. Heaven sounds like an eternal prison with a narcissistic God. North Korea is the same way. There's no way out. Once you are born there, the chances of you staying there is high. Escape is prohibited, and they tell you that if you try to escape, then you could be killed or put in a prison camp. The biggest deterrent of leaving, though, is the threat of your family suffering, because you escape. If you leave North Korea and the government finds out, they can put not only your immediate family into a camp or kill them, they will also do it to your extended family. Generations of people locked up or killed just because they wanted freedom. Sins of the Father, anyone? The leader of heaven and North Korea both are to be praised and thanked for everything people are given. We are told growing up in church, because God gave us life, we have a duty to worship him, regardless of who he is. Although they tell you that God is perfect, so he deserves this worship. It's the same in North Korea. There's no religion or God. The leader, Kim Jong-un, is God. He's the one who gives people everything they need. He's the one who keeps order. All the citizens of the country are only to worship and thank him for everything. Otherwise, you could be guilty and put into a camp or killed. It's an interesting idea to me that many Americans want this. They want Jesus to come back take all the Christians to heaven, and throw all the atheists, agnostics, and all the other religions into hell. America, the same people who claim they want freedom, and that no one has the right to tell them what to do. The same people who believe that Trump is the savior, and that one day America will be a perfect place. These same people want to go to heaven, 
a place of no free will, no escape, and a crazy dictator who at the drop of a hat could change his mind and make you his toy. I cannot wrap my head around it. The church pushes the narrative that this is what we all should want. We should want to give up everything just to live eternally. Is living eternally worth it, though? If there's nothing more to learn, nothing more to do, if there's nothing left to discuss, what would make you want to live more? Alright, spoilers ahead. I often think about the show The Good Place. The show is about people who think that they go to heaven when they are really in hell. Once they realize this, they devise a plan to have a redo. Because the system that was set up for people to go to heaven and hell is rigged. They want a fair way for everyone to get where they want to be. By the end, though, they realize there comes a time when everyone just wants it to be over. They want to make the decision to leave and no longer exist anymore. While this was the end of the characters and their lives, this shows how important our lives are here. When we claim there's something more than what we have here, we cheapen life. We make it seem like the one life we know we have is a waste. Because we all get a second chance. So who cares about this life? This is a problem. If we all only have one life, then we're missing out on so much life that we could have had. People do not need to live forever to make their lives worth something. I know now that I believe this is all the time that I have, and that makes my time more valuable. I know the people around me are important, because once they're gone, or I'm gone, there's not going to be a second chance to see them. So I want to do what I want to do with them right now, in the moments I have with them. Don't put your faith in useless ideas that are not going to do anything for you while you're here on earth. If heaven is real, and the Bible God is real, then no one should want to go there and worship him. No one should long for death just because they have a second chance at life. You have no way of knowing that's true or not. The next time a Christian tells you that they want to go to heaven, ask them why. Help them see that heaven is not what the church claims it to be. Ask them if they want to live in North Korea for all eternity, and if their answer is no, then they do not have a true idea of what they are facing, if the religion that they are following is indeed true. Hey friends, thanks for watching my video. If you would like to support me, all my links are down below. And remember, only you can break out of the bubble and start thinking for yourself.